The UFC is a strange business. Sometimes fighters can be down and out in their careers and compete at their highest level. That's what has happened for 34-year-old Dustin Jacoby, who is close to a UFC title shot after 12 years of MMA. So could he really become the next UFC light heavyweight champion? Plus, why does Jan Blakovic want to drop a weight class? And what are Kamara Usman's crazy plans to fight at light heavyweight? Stay tuned for all that and more MMA news coming right up. Just a number. There's a lot of attention on young up-and-coming stars in the UFC, but some of the older guys are just as dangerous. Lightweight champion Charles Oliveira has had a late resurgence in his career and won 11 fights in a row, but a less-known name is Dustin Jacoby, who might be doing the same thing in the light heavyweight division. When Jacoby joined the UFC in 2020, he had a 12-5 record. That's not the kind of record that gets you a lot of attention on your debut fight. Add to that the fact that he is 34 years old, and it's no wonder he has gone under the radar for many fight fans. But longtime fans might remember his name. It's not his first time in the UFC. Back in 2011, he fought two fights in the UFC, but lost both of them. Now he's hoping that the second time is the charm, and his recent performances are starting to build him respect. He is on an eight-fight win streak, with one draw in the middle, and his last fight against Da Eun Jung ended with a devastating first-round knockout. Even Jacoby himself thought that his career had passed him by a few years ago. He had gone back to kickboxing and even challenged for the world title. He thinks that his time there was the key to his results he's seeing now. Talking on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani, Jacoby said, I'm glad that I picked myself back up and got back in there, and here we are on an incredible streak. Watch out, Izzy. One of the biggest upcoming fights is Israel Adesanya and his old foe, Alex Pereira. The two used to fight in kickboxing, and Pereira knocked Izzy out twice. But in the UFC, Adesanya is the middleweight champion, and Pereira is the challenger. And if anyone knows how that fight might go, it's Dustin Jacoby. Jacoby has fought Alex Pereira as a kickboxer, and it ended pretty badly. Jacoby was knocked out in the first round by Pereira's deadly left hook. In an interview, Jacoby said, It's the only time I've ever been knocked out. Can say that loud and proud, because there are several guys that have fallen victim to him. In the matchup between Alex Pereira and Israel Adesanya, Jacoby isn't sure who to bet on. He gives Pereira respect for his speed and knockout power. In fact, Pereira was the hardest puncher that Jacoby has ever faced, but he also knows that Izzy has some of the best fight IQ in MMA. The champion knows how to adapt to different fighters and keep people on their toes. Plus, Adesanya is the defending champion. It means he has more to lose, but as he showed in his last match against Jared Cannonier, he can sit back and let the fight come to him. As a challenger, it's up to you to prove that you are worthy of a championship belt. Some fans have criticized Pereira for having an easy road to contend for the championship, but Jacoby doesn't agree. He said, The guy is, in my opinion, the best striker in the world, and that fight's gonna be awesome. We can't agree with you more, Dustin. Two world-class fighters with a bitter rivalry could be one of the events of the year. Up next, could Israel Adesanya be challenged again by the man who gave him his one loss soon? And is it possible for Usman to jump up two divisions and fight for a title? So don't go anywhere. At the top, way at the top of the division, Jacoby can only dream of fighting the champion, Yuri Prohaska. At UFC 275 this year, Prohaska won the title from Glover Teixeira, but with the big name John Jones out of the division, it hasn't been getting the same attention that it used to. After just three fights in the UFC, Prohaska became the light heavyweight champion. He came from being champion of the Ryzen Fighting Federation in Japan, and Dana White clearly got word of how exciting he was. After signing him in 2020, the young Czech's first two fights were won with spectacular knockouts, and his title-winning fight against Teixeira was won by submission. But for Prohaska, that wasn't good enough. He has outlined his intention to correct his mistakes in a recent statement on Twitter. He said, I want to fight Glover in the next fight, not because it will be another big fight, but just one reason. My performance was bad in the first fight. He even went so far as to say that Glover deserved it more than he did. Now that's sportsmanship. Prohaska's next opponent will likely be either Tejera or or Jan Blakowicz. It was Blakovic who won the vacant title against Dominic Reyes when John Jones abandoned it, and he defended it once against Israel Adesanya before losing it in the next fight. Prohaska might want to avenge his honor, but Blackowitz has an equal claim to a title shot. Moving down, when Adesanya moved up to light heavyweight to challenge for the title, it was a big move. With dreams of becoming a double champion, Izzy pumped himself up to 200 pounds to fight Jan Blackowitz. That was almost 5 pounds lighter than Blackowitz, and come fight night, it showed. Blackowitz did enough to outclass Adesanya, who looked much weaker than his Polish opponent. But after losing his belt, Blackowitz is considering a rematch with Izzy. This time, though, it would be down at middleweight to fight for Adesanya's title. Last month, he said in an interview, maybe I have to cut the weight and give him a rematch in his category. If I have a chance, why not? For Izzy and his belt, the fight for the belt. Blagovich said that it wouldn't be the first time he fought at that weight, and that he knows it's possible. Considering Adesanya has been totally dominant in that division, it might not be advised. The other thing is that age 39, Blagovich might not have much more time to win another belt. He's coming off a win against number 4 ranked Alexander Rakic in May. Judging by his comments, this could be a crossroads for him. And if he's serious about challenging Adesanya for the middleweight title, he made some good points about the last Stylebander's recent performances. Blagovich thinks that the champion has been more conservative since facing him, 
and he could be right. Izzy got a lot of criticism for his uneventful defense against Jared Cannonier at UFC 276. Is Izzy spoof double jump? Make room, there might be another fighter moving up to light heavyweight. But unusually, it's not a middleweight like Adesanya. It's actually the welterweight champion, Kamaru Usman. The Nigerian nightmare has said that he plans to skip an entire division and jump up to light heavyweight to try and win another title. He has a point to prove. In an interview with BJPenn.com, he said, I want to prove to the world that there's a reason why they say pound for pound. That means pound for pound at any given time, any given moment, any given weight. I can go there and not only hold my own, but I can also be victorious. But others have dismissed the idea as ridiculous. Brendan Schaub said that Usman is just far too small to even consider such a big jump. But Usman has also said that part of the reason for the jump is the respect he has for Adesanya. From his comments, it's clear that Usman and his team are seriously considering it. But how long would it take for him to bulk up to light heavyweight? And if he did, could he ever go back down? With a 20-1 and record plus 5 title defenses, maybe Usman feels that there is nothing more to prove. He has taken care of Tyron Woodley, Colby Covington, Jorge Masvidal, and Gilbert Burns. Who's left? His next fight will be against Leon Edwards, but he already beat him back in 2015. Usman has basically run out of fighters, so why not move up? Do you think Usman can jump up two divisions and still win? And will Blakovich beat Adesanya at middleweight? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.